Hey guys, welcome back to Paracord Planet. Today I'm going to be showing you a bracelet design that I discovered recently. It's by Instagram user Androshipus. I'll put a link to him down in the description. I'm probably not pronouncing his name right. Um, but he calls this the Bone Tower. I thought it has a really cool back and forth weave look to it. So for this project, you're going to need about five feet of your base color and then about a foot and a half for every inch of weave in your other color. So I'm making a eight and a half inch bracelet, so that means I'll need about 12 feet of cord. I'll probably cut it at about 15 just to be safe. And you'll also need a three quarter inch buckle. So with all that said, let's dive right in. The setup for this bracelet is a little bit more complicated than some. It has a six strand core, so I'll show you how to do that here. Um, but if you're a little bit confused, we do have a video on how to set up a four strand core, and it's not too much more difficult than that. Um, so like always, we're just gonna find the middle of our cord. And we'll start that off just like normal putting it down through our top buckle with a cow hitch. That means putting your two ends through the middle. Then we'll run it down to the bottom and we'll make cow hitches in each of these cords as well. So, oh, that one's a little bit afraid, I'll do this one. So we'll put it down through the middle this is my right side cord, so I'm going to wrap it around to the left, over the top of that, and then up from the bottom, and then down through that loop that I made. You want this to be really nice and tight. And then with the other one too, put a fresh end on that one. Same story, down through the middle, and up to the inside. Oops, I want to get those twists out of there. Across the top. Up through the buckle one more time. So now going back to the other side, we're just going to put our cords right down through the top of the buckle. You could attach these with another cow hitch, um, but that uses up a little bit more room on the buckle, and I don't think I have enough room on this three-quarter inch. Make sure everything is tight. You may have to pull these again. And then, so we've got our four strand core right now, and we're gonna make it into a six by bringing it back to the other end. And we have these two cow hitches, so I'm gonna be putting my end down through here. So you may have to take some slack off of the bracelet as you do that. So open up that cow hitch. Just bring it right through there. Do that with both of them right now. Attach it back on, make sure everything's tight. Those are loosening on me. And then to keep the ends from sliding out, I'm just gonna be locking it in with a half hitch. So I'm gonna come to the outside leaving a loop down below and down through. Oops. So that leaves the, the end of my cord on the underside so that it's not seen. So once you have everything tightened up, you can go ahead and clip those cords and melt them against the knot so they don't slide out. So before you start the weave, you'll need to find the middle of your cord. And we're gonna put that through this top cow hitch. So holding onto the middle, we're gonna bring our cord through that top 
I'll hitch right here. Let's loosen that a little bit and put the end through. All right, so we're gonna have two cords that we're weaving, but they're never gonna intersect. One is gonna be weaving over on this side, one is gonna be weaving it on the other. So the pattern that we're using is one, on one side, we're gonna be going over the first cord, let me tuck it under here. So it's gonna be going over just that one. And then on the other side, it's gonna be going over go underneath on that side as well. And then over four. So the four leftmost cords, like that. And that is basically the entirety of the pattern. We are just gonna be alternating back and forth between those, and then going back to their respective sides. So we have the first layer done here, and now with the right side that we did one with last time, we'll be going over four cords. And with the left, we'll be going over one. And then push it down a little bit, but you don't wanna to go too much on this one because you want these um, unwoven cords to, to show through. So I'll do one more and then we'll speed up the rest. So to show you what I meant here a little bit more, in every layer you're gonna have one unwoven cord that's gonna show through, and that kind of creates the pattern that we're looking for. So we'll keep on going with that back and forth until we get to the end. Just a final note on how to tighten this down before we continue with the rest of it. You'll notice that we have that one bit of purple showing through in each row, and we don't wanna lose that by squishing our weaves together too much. Um, so you don't want to do that, but you do want to pull your cords nice and tight each time. We are just about finished with our bone tower. To finish it off, I'm just going to fill in this space here. That's kind of made by how we did the knotting on the end. Um, so we'll push it up. the side here. Oops. And then just go right back down the same hole on the other side. There we go. And you kind of don't notice the, the pattern ending there. Now you can take it off your jig and we'll melt it on the bottom side. They're coming up right next to each other so we can actually melt them together. So there's our finished bone tower bracelet. Like I said earlier, I just thought this was a really cool woven pattern and something that was pretty unusual that I hadn't seen before. If you guys enjoyed this one, let us know down in the comments and tell us what bracelet tutorials you want us to do next. Supplies can be found down in the description like always. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.